using GPUs, my, uh, my laptop doesn't have GPU, so um, I cannot run this notebook. Um, you can either using AWS or you can use a Colab as well. So you can double check if you have GPUs by run this NVIDIA dash SMI. Here I show that I have small uh, two GPUs here. Okay, so for GPUs, you can introduce another concept we call device. They can ha either have CPUs or GPUs. Default, you're gonna use the first GPU and you can specify which GPU you're gonna have. GPU one means the second GPU you have. So here you can see that CPU is CPU zero. The zero doesn't matter anything. So no matter how many GPU you have, you can you just a GPU zero, a CPU zero. But for GPUs, it matters. If you have two GPUs, you need to distinguish the two GPUs. So in default, you're gonna have GPU zero, and then you if give one, I'm gonna get a second GPU. So if I if I create array, I access what the co device is on by using x dot context. So in default, it's gonna sit on CPU memory. And if I'm gonna change it, we can specify CTX is a short of context by using GPUs. So once, when you do that, you can see that here's the device. Here's the device. Now this X will sit on GPU. You already see that on the homework. Well, you can do random numbers as well, then but on GPU one, because this machine I run on the AWS machine, then have two GPUs. We actually can um, run on the GPU one. But if you don't have GPU, then you can, uh, if you don't have so many GPUs, you will get an error message. One thing here, once the data is on GPUs, we can make computations. The computations will happen on the devices what the input data are. So, for example, if X is on GPU zero and the Y is on GPU one, I cannot make computation because it's on different GPUs. If you want to make the data on GPU one, I need to copy X into GPU one. The reason we want to we want users to explicitly copy data to GPU to the same device is not just for we cannot implement that. It's only tell you because we can we can secretly copy data for you. But so but if you do that, your program may be too slow because copy data from GPU GPU to GPU is fine, but GPU to CPU is pretty slow. We really want you to explicitly copy data to a particular GPU so you know that where the computation are running. But maybe in the future, GPU to CPU bandwidth is so high and GPU to GPU bandwidth is so high, we maybe just ignore that. You don't need to force every, uh, you can automatically schedule for you. But here, you need to just uh, X copy to the second GPU Z and perform the results. Because Y is allocated on GPU, the second GPU, you can see that both Y plus Z gonna sit on the second GPU as well. So. The operator will happens on the device where the input has, and the output will have the same device as well. You can also do as in context instead of copy to. Almost give you the same results. But the difference here is that if Y is already on the, GP, the second GPU, and as in context using the second GPU, we do nothing, just return Y itself. So here, Y as in context, GPU one actually is Y. So it's fine for you to write a lot of as in context on your code, you, you don't frequently copy and move the data. If you do copy two, no matter, no matter which GPU you have, we always copy it, it's just a copy. So uh, be careful if you write a lot of copy two, it make your program much, much slower. And uh, using Gruon, what you do here is that, well, you, during initializations, I can specify the context. So you can specify the context on the GPU you're gonna have, and also you can copy, if you, you can initialize on CPU and a copy too as well, the latter, but here, the normal way that it initialize on the particular GPU. 
then once the parameter is on that GPU, you need to copy the X, you need to make sure that X is also on GPU as well. So before we already copy X into the GPU zero, so this happens well. So you can see that the results is also happens on the first GPU, and the weight is also on the GPU zero as well. So if you're gonna change to another one, you can, you can, you can change to another GPU, you can, X can copy to another GPU, parameters can also copy to another GPU as well. So in the future, we're gonna tell you about multi-GPUs, you can, you can run network on multi-GPUs, but not today. <laughs>